Hello guys, this is Peter here and this is the last mission of the series Abaddon's Gate. Crazy that I've started this project more than two years ago and only finishing it now, but it is what it is. We are here, the 58th video, the 58th mission. So after defeating Shiro and Leech, the two servants of Abaddon, now we must destroy their master, the fallen god of water and secrets, and do it in less than 20 minutes to complete the bonus. The mission is very straightforward and it can be completed even in 2 minutes, but I'm going to show you 3 different ways. Abaddon has 4 abilities and as far as I have observed he is using them randomly. The first is Corrupt Power, this one will remove enchantments and deal some minor damage. This is probably the most annoying of all because you can't defend yourself with enchants unless you use a lot of them. The next is called Earth Shattering Blow, it deals AoE damage and knockdown down foes in the area. And the third one is Word of Madness, it also deals damage, knock down fools and cause daze condition in the whole area. And finally this is not stated on wiki but we can easily call this a skill, Abaddon likes to summon torment clothes to make the fights more difficult. So knockdowns, enchantment removals, conditions, these are his weapons, but luckily any meta hero team can defeat him relatively easily. In hard mode he has tons of HP around 13,000. So it might take some time to actually kill him, there is no hero requirement, luckily you can use any heroes you want, but keep in mind Abaddon has uh, 3 groups of graven monoliths, and those might be mesmers, dervishes or very rarely paragons. I would say most of the time they are mesmers or dervs, they have pretty nasty anti-melee hexes like crippling anguish, clumsiness, and they can also blind you. And in order to kill him we must defeat the 3 groups of monoliths. The central one must be the last one because it will respawn all the time. So for example you kill the right side first, then you do the left side and finally the central one. After that you have around 25 seconds to actually damage him and this is the only time when you can work on lowering the Abaddon bar, this red thing on the top left of the screen. If you can't kill him in this period he will regain his strength and you must restart the process and also he will damage you cause days conditions and it will knock down the whole party. After that you must do the right side, left side and center again. And each time the three groups are destroyed the battle loses 1000 HP. So even if you don't damage him while he can be targeted, you can still destroy him by clearing the monolites and nothing else. This is clearly visible when you kill the first three groups and his HP drops around 10%. By the way I've just noticed this animation uh, at his hands. But they are quite awesome, when you get close to him for the first time he breaks those magical bindings and when you kill a group the binding goes back, so it's good stuff compared to such an old game. Alright, I'll show you my first version, warrior's point of view, dagger spam and full dps, advice to bring uh, don't trip, this will help not just you but your heroes as well, especially when you have just killed the third group you can save precious time if you use it at the right time. You see that Dagger Spam does great damage on Abaddon, we also have two E-Surge Mesmers, I gave both of them Waster's Worry, this helps much against him because uh, Hexes and Conditions last 50% shorter on him, so Waster's will end after around 1 sec. I choose two Roy Monks this time, Abaddon don't escape from AoE skills, he can't run away, so Roy or even Firestorm etc will do full damage on him. So skills like these are quite effective uh, in this mission. And my last three heroes are the usual S tier 2, he provides great party wide defense, SOS 3 2 with a splinter weapon and healing skills, and the Beep Necro to help out the coasters with energy regen and also heal the party. So when you are ready make sure you have the Lightbringer title on and talk to Keeper Sharish to enter the mission. I will micro strength of honor on my char, you can do the same if you are a melee player. Otherwise simply keep right and follow the path, like so many times Cormir will not help us, shame on you Cormir. And the first part of the mission is quite dark but eventually we reach Abaddon and see the bindings, he still has them, but when we get close to him he breaks them all. I don't know why but I've always preferred the right hand side first, you can start with the left side too, just personal preference. I will not micro my heroes much, let the AI decide what he wants to do. And if you go melee range, uh, get ready to be blinded plenty of times, but don't worry heroes remove conditions quickly. And nice, both Roy is in action, we kill these two monoliths easily. 
Let's go to the left hand side now and do the same again. In the meantime, Abaddon will use his annoying monster skill, but luckily the ST hero gives nice protection against them. Ok, only the central group left, one tip here, try to get as close to Abaddon as possible. This way when the monoliths are destroyed and you can target him, you are already at his body and you can damage him immediately. Also after the monoliths use Dawn Trip if you have, this will save the whole group from a knockdown. Alright, time to put down the Ebon War to further increase our damage, and also I will micro judges insight on my warrior. Easily 100 plus damage, see how fast the red bar goes down. Sadly it is quite difficult to kill him in 25 seconds, but next time we will get him. Now quickly run back to the hill, flag heroes to a safe spot and try to use Don't Trip uh, better than I did. Never mind, we are still good, let's get the groups again. Nice, we can damage Abaddon again, it won't take long now, give him what he deserves. And this is it, the mission is completed, 3 minutes, 5 seconds, not too bad. And after that your heroes are removed from your party. And if you have done this mission for the first time, you can pick up a lot of hero quests. You can unlock all those heroes, uh, what you missed when you choose the other path in the story. Also don't forget the book of secrets. This guy, the keeper of secrets, will give you one copy. And you can either sell it in Kamadan or you can exchange it for a nice green item. By the way, this place is amazing, really well done, congrats to the developers. You can even make nice screenshots, just press the Ctrl, Shift and H letters all three at once. So this was one of many possibilities to beat Abaddon, I wasn't really satisfied with it, so I came up with a better idea. What if you want to kill him in one rotation in 25 seconds? I always hated that I can't do missions with melee heroes, so I've decided let's give them a chance this last time. Barbs is a great necro skill, you can use it out very well if you have a lot of physical damage dealers in the party. So let me present to you my melee hero group, two assassins, one warrior and my monk also functions like an assassin and we have an order of the vampire necro with barbs. To be honest the first three groups are kind of bad to do, you know we have too many melees and those monoliths are mesmerized with clumsiness or those with blinding skills. But once you reach Abaddon it's a walk in the park. When I first tried this build we were about 5% away from killing him, so I decided I will use a legionnaire this time. I guess many of you have it anyway, so not a big cheat after all. And with our combined forces we beat Abaddon in 2 minutes and 4 seconds. And I was happy with the results but I wanted to test the 100 blades hero team build as well, so I brought 3 warriors. You know, Handed Blades also trigger barbs since it deals physical damage and the hero's swords also trigger it, so they can trigger it twice with each attack. The Legionnaire was used again and our time was exactly the same somehow, 2 minutes 4 seconds, not too bad. Uh, I guess if you really want to go sub 2 minutes you, you can, but you should work a bit more on efficiency and build. And like I've promised in the beginning, I will show you a third way to kill Abaddon, and this is the slowest of, of the three, but it is a very unique one. I was reading on wiki that people used to kill Abaddon using life stealing skills like Vengeful Weapon, Weapon of Remedy, etc. And wiki also said that this was nerfed back in 2007, but I wanted to give it a try anyway, so this is what I did. I went to the central area but not too close to the monoliths and used either Vengeful Weapon or Sin Ray's Weapon on all the party members. Of course I had 16 re Restoration and 13 Spawning Power, so each time Abaddon hit any of us with some damage, we were able to steal some HP from him. I think not all of his master skills actually trigger the life stealing effect, but I think at least Earth Shattering Blow and Word of Madness does. It was only a matter of time, I was just spamming and spamming those two skills 
and actually after 18 minutes 49 seconds we beat him so yeah we could actually get the bonus too but this is a much much slower way than simply killing him with heroes maybe there are ways to make this method faster you can force all heroes to use their first skill and do things like that but i didn't want to mess with that now nonetheless i thought i would share this with you guys and to end this video just one more thing to show the infamous abaddon dance so just type slash dance and Abaddon starts dancing as well. And if you do this, the game kicks you out of the mission, but still funny because uh, he continues dancing and Corbin does what she does best, nothing. With this mission, the series is over. You can find all the videos in the playlist. I hope some of them will help you. Uh, I thank you for watching any of them and commenting or giving likes or dislikes. This was Abaddon's Gate, the last mission. Good luck and may the Corbin be with you all.